today I'm going to show you how to make gluten-free date bread. I got the recipe from the Gluten-Free Gourmet Baked Bread. Um, you will need pitted dates and you have to chop them. And you also need baking soda, boiling water, garfava flour, tapioca flour, cornstarch, xanthan gum, salt, baking powder, eggs, brown sugar, um, vegetable oil, and vanilla extract. Uh, garfava flour, it's also called um, garbanzo and fava flour. Um, you can find it in any natural food store. And to start, you'll need a large bowl and uh, you'll put your chopped up dates in it. Which you can buy them pre-chopped, but I like to chop them myself. You will need to take one teaspoon of baking soda and to sprinkle it over your dates. Now go get the water. And a one package of dates will do. Um, an eight ounce will do for the dates. Um, you'll need three quarters cup of boiling water, and you'll pour that over the date and bake ba dates and baking soda. And I like to just kind of mix it around just so it gets it all. And then you set that aside and let it cool down. And the next, you're going to take your um, a half a cup of garfava flour a half cup of tapioca flour, a half cup of cornstarch, uh, three-fourths teaspoon of xanthan gum, three-fourths teaspoon of salt, and finally two teaspoons of baking powder. that all together. Next, you're going to need two eggs. Just open them up and put them in a sort of a small to medium um, size bowl because you will be adding a couple other things to it. Um, you'll need to add three-fourths cup of brown sugar to it and I like to before I start baking I like to um, go ahead and pre-measure the baking uh, the brown sugar and just kind of go through it with a fork and kind of chop up all the uh, big clumps that are in it. It helps. And then you also need um, two tablespoons of vegetable oil. And just mix that right on up. And then you'll add this mixture to your cool date mixture. Mix that all together. And 
and then you'll add your flour mixture to it. And you're going to want to preheat your oven to um, 325 degrees. And this will make one 8 by 4 pan, um, loaf pan, or four 2 by 4 pans, loaf pans. Um, the 8 by 4 pan, you'll bake for about uh, 45 to 55 minutes. For the, um, the four 2 by 4 loaf pans, about a half hour. And you're going to... Um, grease the uh, inside of the pans and then you're going to line the bottom of them with wax paper and grease over that. Um, last you add the vanilla extract. You can, it says to add about a teaspoon but um, I add more than that just to give it some flavor. pour it into your pans or pan and uh, you know when it's done baking you know stick a toothpick in it make sure that it um, comes out clean and then remove them to wire racks and when they cool enjoy and that's it <laughs>